Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. Right, we're doing something a little bit different today. We've got Mark in um, again from Qualtex. Mark, thank you for coming. Hi there. And, but today we're going to look at something, well, it's, it's more of the party wear. Now, uh, party wear is often seen as a, as a retail thing, as you were saying earlier on, and people don't think of incorporating it into balloon designs. So Mark today is going to show us um, just one or two products that uh, are going to help us be able to do that. So Mark, over to you. Fantastic. So here we have uh, one of our best selling uh, lines at the moment, which is Trolls. Yep. Uh, one of the pro cost party wear, which we distribute. Um, and we're really going to use this as a very, very simple, inexpensive arch okay. uh, and, and theme it together for a party. So what All we've right. pre-prepared, some of our cluster bases, yeah. and literally I'm going to tie the end straight through and then double knot to make sure that's tied tightly into the base. Yeah. Okay, just tied in there. Okay. Um, and then uh, one of your heat sealed foils would look nice on here, so I'm hey. gonna grab that. I actually heat sealed this myself. Oh yeah, that's right. Do you want me to? So we're just gonna tie that again, straight in to there. Trolls, obviously, uh, the theme of Trolls is cupcakes and rainbows. Yeah. So we're using our happy birthday uh, uh, cupcake balloon there. Yep. We'll drop that down the other side, so we've got it weighted down now. Repeated that on the, on the that other side, side there. Yep. Got there. Larger shape foil there, if you hold that for me, Greg. Certainly. And what we're going to do is that we'll use this a bit easier with the table, obviously. Yeah. Just tie that straight in there. And then I'll tie that into the centre. And it'll create our arch. So simple to do, and not a lot of people think about you know using party wear as, as part of their decor Absolutely, thing. Absolutely, yeah. Lots of value to be added um, if you're actually decorating the party yourself. Yeah, yeah. Because most people, I guess, would take this banner and they just pin it on the wall, just get two join pins, a bit of blue tack, and just pin it on the wall. So. That's great. Just remove my excess there. And make sure Poppy is straight in the centre. Yeah. And then if we want to Sorry? add some additional balloons. How did you get that in the centre? Did you just cut a little? Just a little, little small, small little hole in there. Okay. And then if you want to pass me some of the blue balloons. There's one. Pre-inflated. Literally, as you would do with a single pearl arch, we can just tie these blue, blue again. And the last one. There you go. Really fast, really simple, effective decor. Um, whereas you would only have had a couple of pounds for the, 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 the pendant banner yeah. uh, as a retail item, you've now got something of, uh, of, of great value that actually uses less balloons yeah. than, uh, than a normal pearl arch. Yeah, no, that's a great way of incorporating it into the, uh, into the decorating. Oh yeah, twist that around. Give so that a twist to its level. And you just have a play with that and get it exactly as you want it. That's great. Mark, thank you very much for that. You're welcome. There you go, that's a really simple solution and a really, I mean, some of the techniques Mark's used here, obviously the clusters we've, we've talked about before, you can see those uh, at the end of the video. Oh, I think we might even put a link in down underneath the video. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you. Oh, Mark, we've not done a question of the week. I've got to do another question of the week. I guess it's got to be what, you, what your favorite license is. Favourite li favorite licence, favourite character. Who is your favourite character? Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time. Bye. Bye.